years we've operated from the Upper Springland site on Island Road, a beautiful location on the banks of the River Tay and we're so proud of everything that we've achieved there. Since my last update, our plans to build new exemplar facilities and services at Firth Park have progressed significantly and I'm excited to share several key developments with you. We've welcomed many new partners including architects and design specialists and we've signed an exclusivity deal to secure the site at Firth Park Village. This was a huge milestone for the project, taking us one step closer to our goal of a brand new purpose-built facility. The co-production process is in full swing, led by Naomi Smith. We've had a number of events and consultations showcasing the progress that's been made thus far. And as a result, we've received constructive feedback and comments from more than 600 people including those that we support, their families and our staff. We're hugely grateful for the input of everyone so far. Capability Scotland has partnered with Smart Home Design Specialist Function Control to trial some new technology in our mock-up mock flat at Upper Springland. This technology, we hope, will enable greater independence for the people who will call the new facility home. Most importantly, this has allowed us to further consult with the people that we support and to get their input on features that they would like to see incorporated into the exemplar facility. We also had a tremendous partnership with the Ministry of Building, Innovation and Education, MOBI, a charity founded by the renowned TV architect George Clark. We invited young people from across Scotland to take part in a design challenge to explore ideas for our new facilities. The judges were so impressed with the many incredible entrants, including from people that we support at Upper Springland. And for our winners, Tassie and Isla, it was extra special for them to see their designs being celebrated by the masses at an event with George in attendance. Last summer saw us officially launch the Our Inclusive Community Project with a wonderful event at Perth Concert Hall. We invited guests to join George Clark, Anderson Bell Christie's Caroline Bearden, and the project board for a few words and an exploration of the development of the project. As I stated previously, the people we support and their families will be at the centre of our thinking and planning. We want to genuinely involve them at every stage, helping us to co-design this exemplar project, their new homes. The quality of care and support will be further enhanced through new technology and meaningful activities tailored to each person. It's been another incredible year for Capability Scotland and I'm thrilled to see real progress towards our vision, but there is still much to do. I really do welcome your continued questions and feedback as we work together to create something truly pioneering for current and future generations of the